Picture the intense drama of a blockbuster disaster film. Towering waves crashing against coastal cities, raging wildfires devouring vast landscapes, and the earth splitting open beneath unsuspecting residents. While Hollywood uses these scenarios to captivate audiences, natural disasters are a harsh reality for millions across the United States every year. From the relentless hurricanes of the Gulf Coast to the fierce tornadoes of Tornado Alley, the U.S. landscape is a mosaic of varying levels of vulnerability to nature's fury. However, not all states are equally at risk. Some enjoy a commendable degree of safety, experiencing few and infrequent disasters, while others find themselves in the crosshairs of relentless natural threats. In this video, we explore the safest and deadliest U.S. states for natural disasters, delving into the factors that contribute to their rankings and what this means for their inhabitants. Join us as we navigate through America's most and least resilient regions, reinforcing the theme of understanding our nation's diverse exposure to natural catastrophes. Safest States from Natural Disasters When evaluating the safest states in the United States concerning natural disasters, the criteria often include the frequency, severity, and variety of disasters over recent decades. Topping the list is Delaware, boasting only 13 declared disasters since 2004. Delaware's geographical position plays a pivotal role in its safety profile. Situated away from the most active hurricane paths and major seismic zones, Delaware rarely experiences the most devastating types of natural disasters. While nor'easters and mild hurricanes do occasionally impact the state, these events are infrequent and typically less severe. Moreover, Delaware's robust emergency health preparedness, as highlighted by a 2009 University of Delaware study, ensures that when disasters do strike, the state responds efficiently and effectively, minimizing harm and facilitating swift recovery. Following Delaware is Michigan, with 14 disaster declarations in the same period. The Great Lakes significantly moderate Michigan's climate, reducing the likelihood of severe storms and extreme weather events. Additionally, Michigan's distance from major fault lines means that earthquakes are rare and generally minor in impact. The absence of an ocean coastline further shields Michigan from the full force of hurricanes, making it a sanctuary compared to its coastal counterparts. The state's vast land area, surprisingly, does not translate to a higher disaster count thanks to its natural climatic buffers and proactive disaster management strategies. Maryland ranks third with 18 incidents since 2004. Its location in the Mid-Atlantic region provides a balance, keeping it relatively safe from the most intense natural disasters. While Maryland does experience occasional tornadoes and flash floods, these are typically manageable and less frequent than in more disaster-prone areas. The state's infrastructure and emergency response systems are well-developed, further enhancing its resilience against natural threats. Wisconsin, Rhode Island, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wyoming, and Connecticut complete the top 10 safest states. Each of these states benefits from a unique combination of geographical advantages and effective disaster preparedness measures. For instance, Wisconsin's rolling hills and proximity to the Great Lakes help mitigate severe weather events, while Rhode Island's smaller size allows for more concentrated and efficient disaster response efforts. Indiana and Ohio's inland positions reduce their exposure to hurricanes, and Wyoming's semi-arid climate minimizes the risk of flooding and wildfires. Most Disaster-Prone States Conversely, several states in the U.S. consistently rank high in terms of natural disaster vulnerability due to their geographical locations and climatic conditions. Texas emerges as the most disaster-prone state, with a staggering 368 major disasters recorded from 1953 through 2022. Texas's vast size and diverse climate make it susceptible to a wide array of disasters, including hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, wildfires, and droughts. Hurricanes Harvey and Ike are prime examples of the destructive power that can strike Texas, causing billions in damage and significant loss of life. The state's extensive coastline along the Gulf of Mexico makes it a frequent target for powerful hurricanes, while its location within Tornado Alley subjects it to regular and severe tornado activity. Additionally, the combination of high temperatures and prolonged droughts creates ideal conditions for devastating wildfires, further exacerbating the state's disaster profile. Mississippi ranks second, enduring 50 disaster declarations since 2000. The state is particularly vulnerable 
to hurricanes and flooding, with catastrophic events like Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and Hurricane Ida in 2021 leaving profound impacts. Mississippi's low-lying terrain and extensive coastline make it a prime target for storm surges and flooding, while its position in Tornado Alley exposes it to frequent and severe tornadoes. The historical context, such as the Great Mississippi Flood of 1927, underscores the state's long-standing vulnerability to natural disasters. Oklahoma, with over 217 major disasters since 1953, is another state grappling with relentless natural threats. Situated in Tornado Alley, Oklahoma regularly experiences powerful tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, and flooding. The infamous 1999 Bridge Creek Moor tornado, one of the most powerful ever recorded, exemplifies the extreme weather events that can devastate communities in Oklahoma. California, with 285 disaster declarations since 2000, is synonymous with natural disasters in the United States. The state contends with a multitude of threats, including wildfires, earthquakes, droughts, and mudslides. High-profile disasters like the 2018 Camp Fire and the 1906 San Francisco earthquake highlight California's vulnerability. The state's extensive coastline also makes it susceptible to hurricanes and coastal flooding, although these are less frequent compared to states like Florida and Texas. Additionally, California's geographical position along the Pacific Ring of Fire subjects it to frequent seismic activity, while the combination of high temperatures and dry conditions fosters an environment ripe for wildfires. Florida faces a unique set of challenges that place it high on the list of disaster-prone states, with properties overvalued by $50 billion due to unpriced climate risk. Florida constantly battles the impacts of hurricanes, floods, and tornadoes. Hurricanes like Ian and Andrew have caused extensive damage and loss of life, while rising sea levels threaten the state's coastal communities with increased flooding and erosion. The state's flat terrain exacerbates flood risks, and its position at the tail end of the tornado-prone Dixie Alley makes it susceptible to severe tornado activity. Florida's warm surrounding waters provide ideal conditions for hurricane formation, making it one of the most vulnerable states to these powerful storms. Factors contributing to disaster, proneness, and safety. Several key factors determine whether a state is more or less prone to natural disasters. Geography plays a crucial role. States located along coastlines are more vulnerable to hurricanes and floods, while those in Tornado Alley experience frequent and severe tornadoes. Proximity to seismic zones dictates earthquake risk, and climate patterns influence the likelihood of wildfires, droughts, and extreme weather events. For instance, California's position along the Pacific Ring of Fire subjects it to frequent earthquakes, while Texas's vast size and diverse climate make it susceptible to a wide range of disasters. Climate change is intensifying these risks, increasing the frequency and severity of natural disasters across the U.S. states like California and Florida are experiencing more severe hurricanes and wildfires due to rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns. The Midwest is seeing more intense tornado seasons, while states in the Great Lakes region benefit from moderated climates but still face occasional severe storms and flooding. Human factors, such as land management practices and infrastructure resilience, also impact a state's disaster vulnerability. Effective emergency preparedness, robust infrastructure, and proactive land use planning can significantly reduce the impact of natural disasters. Delaware's high emergency preparedness standards, for example, help mitigate the effects of rare storms, while Texas's extensive experience in disaster response enables it to manage frequent and varied disasters more effectively. Economic and Social Impacts of Natural Disasters The economic and social ramifications of natural disasters are profound and multifaceted. In disaster-prone states like Texas and Florida, the financial burden of rebuilding and recovery can strain state budgets and insurance systems. The high cost of disasters also affects property values, as seen in Florida's overvalued properties due to climate risks. Additionally, frequent disasters can lead to loss of life, displacement of communities, and long-term psychological impacts on residents. For instance, Hurricane Harvey caused over $125 billion in damage and claimed 103 lives in Texas alone, illustrating the immense economic and human toll of such events. Conversely, states that are safer from natural disasters may enjoy more stable economic growth and higher property values. 
as the risk of sudden large-scale destruction is lower. However, these states are not entirely immune, and unexpected events can still pose significant challenges. A rare earthquake in Michigan, or a sudden flood in Delaware, for example, could have severe consequences despite the overall low frequency of such events. Furthermore, even in safer states, the economic impacts of less frequent but still significant disasters can be substantial, requiring ongoing investment in preparedness and resilience measures. Adapting to a changing climate As climate change continues to alter weather patterns and increase the frequency of extreme events, states across the U.S. must adapt to new realities. Disaster-prone states are investing in more resilient infrastructure, enhancing emergency response capabilities, and implementing stricter building codes to withstand future disasters. For example, California is bolstering its wildfire management strategies and investing in earthquake-resistant infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of future seismic events. Additionally, there is a growing emphasis on sustainable land management practices to reduce the risk of wildfires, floods, and other natural disasters. States deemed safer from natural disasters are not complacent. They continue to improve their preparedness and resilience to ensure that they remain protected against the evolving threats posed by climate change. This includes investing in advanced warning systems, reinforcing critical infrastructure, and promoting community awareness and preparedness initiatives. For instance, Delaware's high emergency preparedness standards are continually updated to incorporate the latest best practices in disaster response and recovery, ensuring that the state remains resilient in the face of potential threats. Furthermore, collaboration between state governments, local communities, and federal agencies is essential in building a comprehensive approach to disaster resilience. Initiatives such as community-based preparedness programs, investment in green infrastructure, and the adoption of. Now it's time to hear from you. Which state do you believe is the safest or most at risk for natural disasters? And what factors do you think contribute most to its vulnerability or resilience? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.